you're selling 3D models online. Um, right now, you, you might be very disappointed with what you're seeing in terms of model sales or revenue. I put this presentation together as a number of questions that might help you and it might radically increase your sales um, and performance. These are typically some of the comments I get. Thank you for your advice. I have a few models in CG Trader, but I haven't been encouraged by sales. The fact that you have a success is encouraging. And then next one, I made zero over one year and uploaded about 50 models. I gave up already. A um, couple of questions to help you navigate your way through this. I've been selling content for about six years and I've actually done, um, I think, incredibly well. Um, here goes. So it's not what you expected. Here are some questions that may help you. Have I identified my audience and do I target them accordingly? Now, 3D models are not just 3D models. There are 3D models that are game orientated. There are 3D models that are VFX orientated. In other words, 4K or 8K maps, incredibly high detail, good for photorealism, good for film or media in a background. Um, and then 3D for print. There's a number of variations here and it's important that you sell the the content on the corresponding platform. Um, now I've made a list of the typical or most popular platforms here um, and I've only listed platforms with decent royalties. There are very popular other platforms out there but the royalties are quite low so not listed, sorry. Um, low poly, let's start with low poly game content. So if you're selling low poly or game content then best place to do that probably Unity or Sketchfab. Um, CG Trader in the low poly section but that's where I would sell low poly content if I sold high quality VFX content that freelancers or concept artists matte painters want to use in the film or VFX industry then ArtStation would be the first place I go to um, if I sold general 3d files or 3d scans or 3d print files then I would do that on CG Trader. They're probably the best of the generalist in terms of sales platforms. Um, and if I have high quality video tutorials um, with 3D content, I would do that on Flip Normals. Flip Normals is a newbie, um, but I expect it to do incredibly well. So try and pair your content with the two most relevant platforms. Platform that I do best on right now um, is probably probably ArtStation and CD Trader. ArtStation was a surprise, I must say. Does my content have commercial value? So the same could be asked for YouTube channel, Instagram account, B-roll video, etc. What does commercial value look like in a product? Um, so obviously commercial value is anything that will sell. There's a lot of stuff out there, products, um, but they haven't got a lot of commercial value. In other words, people wouldn't really be enticed to buy them. So is my product informed? through online movement, social presence. Um, there's, if you go on Instagram today, you search hashtags or hashtags like, I think future decay is a big movement. This big part of concept development is a big part of concept design in terms of um, games and movies that are leaning towards future decay. Um, it's a lot of very grungy and dirty textures. Um, buzzwords in the industry like kit bash. Kit bash is a is a big word um, right now in both environments in, as well as hard ops, um, hard surface, uh, those kind of things. Hard surface, um, mix, sci-fi. Those are kit bash is 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 a is a very big word in in those categories. So kit bash, anything hashtag kit kit bash or inverted commas rather kit bash seems to do incredibly well. Um, and then does my model have intent? Is it just a building versus is it kit bash or realistic industrial building for VFX artists and concept artists? If it's aimed at no one, it's most likely going to reach, no, reach no one. So does your ha content have commercial value? Make sure that it is informed by industry needs. Make sure that, I mean, you go and look at your Instagram account. What are the popular... Um, or even movies, what are the popular content out there and create for that content and so ask yourself what is my product about and that what would move someone to, to buy it. Um, if someone is not moved to buy it, it's likely that it has low commercial value. 
am I selling content in a saturated price bracket? So the 0 to 10, I talked about this in one of my other videos, the 0 to 10 dollar um, price bracket is entirely saturated and for that reason the competition level in that price bracket is fierce. There is millions and millions and millions if not billions of people that are able to create models of the quality that will fit between 0 and 10 dollars um, and for that reason what happens you upload a, a, a five dollar model and by tomorrow it's on page five of the search where no one looks um, so to cut out competition just go straight for the 30 or 50 or 75 dollar models and upwards um, that's immediately probably going to put you on page one of a search um, and those models also people are not scared to spend money online i found that i was quite surprised people were happily buy 75 to 100 dollar models um, a friend of mine has the argument yes but if i create 10 dollar models people will buy 15 of them or 100 of them where people will only buy two or three of 75 dollar models um that statement is quite deeply flawed in the sense that your it's your your 10 dollar models is going to go straight to the bottom of the stack um and like i say especially on art station i've seen that people are very very keen to throw money at 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 a uh, at an expensive product um because there's a lot of art station freelancers out there they most probably bill their client for that purchase anyway high ticket items so that's that don't put yourself in a high competition bracket selling models into 35 and upward brackets will immediately increase your chance of success these are the ones that for from on my accounts that do incredibly well um i sell a lot of them actually per month so that's really great for me then third point aim to create larger products and if you're used to making ten dollar models then aim for aim for your first 35 usd dollar model it's not difficult to create the 35 dollar models um it's going to take you three times the time that it takes you to create a ten dollar model it's not difficult really it's not um, and then once you've had five or four 35 dollar models online Go for your first $50 model and then go for your first $75 model and then keep making $35, $50 and $70 models. Am I willing to have my thinking influenced by advice? Now, people are creatures of habit. They believe one thing um, because they somehow got onto that belief and they're unwilling to let go of a belief, whether that belief is right or wrong. Um, this is one of the things that I get the most in my YouTube as a comment. How many models do I need online to make a decent earning? That's not really how it works. And while internet sales, a large part of internet sales is microtransactions at a massive scale, the reality is that if you have a lot of content that is substandard, you're not going to sell anything. So a thousand models will earn you nothing if there are a thousand substandard models um, i made nearly 400 dollars my first three weeks on art station off one product online um, and the reason is that the product was incredibly high quality it had a lot of images in it had video talk throughs in um, and it gave a people or potential customer peace of mind um, they knew that when they spend this money on that product they're going to get that quality so it's not about the, the, the quality aim or the, the quantity rather aim for the quality if you aim for the quality get the quality right then you can start worry about quantity so have I taught myself basic selling techniques um, so this basic selling techniques is awareness um, competition and price those are your, your core selling techniques but then there's are things now that are relevant like cancel culture um, and your online presence obviously which ties into reach so i've listed your awareness sites here in other words portfolio or visual um, sites that help with reach and then i've listed your sales sites here so essentially put all of this on there not in an overselling kind of way but you want to create an awareness so Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, Bions, ArtStation, CG Trader, Blender Market, and Flip Normals. 
uh, there's a combination of sales sites as well as portfolio, portfolio sites. And what I found is I, for a very long time, I made a pin a day um, uh, of my 3D models, put it on Pinterest um, and blasted it all over Twitter and other places. Um, and because I made a pin a day for, I think, six months, I can't remember if this was five or six months, but my awareness grew quite a bit because obviously everything I have is kind of tied to, together. My balance is tied to my YouTube, my art station ties back to my YouTube, Facebook. I just put everything there, not in an overselling kind of way, but everything is out there. Twitter, a um, little bit, not so much as the other ones, and then Instagram. And what I'm starting to find now is people um, are reposting and resharing a lot of my stuff. I find a lot of my stuff on Reddit, um, find a lot of stuff on uh, Tumblr as well, and they're all reshares. So get your get yourself, boost your content, create awareness. The reality is if you put stuff on um, 3D Marketplace, just talking about point number one, their awareness. If you put stuff on a, on a 3D Marketplace, um, you essentially put it in someone else's shop. You don't really know what their sales tactic is. I know with Blender Market, they'll go put it on Instagram um, and they'll go share it in, in other places. And I know with Flip Normals, they'll do the same. But that's not really the, the for, for me to go and further the awareness of that product, I can go and put it in Bayon's but as an example, where I go and do all my final renders, I'll put it on Bayon's, I'll put a link in there, that link will go to a YouTube talk through, as well as to the product. Um, do the same on ArtStation in the description, goes to a YouTube talk through, um, then I talk about my products in YouTube, obviously create awareness there, um, but not in an overselling way again, because cancel culture will just immediately kill anything that's being oversold. Um, so these couple of points really worth digging into, create large scale awareness of your products. Um, in terms of competition and price bracket, don't sell, again, don't sell in a $10 bracket. Uh, high ticket items for cancel culture, never oversell yourself. And then five, just create a large online presence in terms of reach, your industry example there, typical guys like Gleb Alexandrov, Andrew Price, Andrew Price, um, built a massive audience on YouTube just by doing tutorials for a number of years on Blender. It's incredibly high tutor high quality tutorials. Then he launches um will launch the rock essentials, lighting essentials, architectural essentials, a lot of other kit. Um and then he launches polygons. He's a phenomenal 3D artist but phenomenal businessman. Have I identified Sorry for the spelling error there. Have identified. Have I identified my financial goals? So this was me in 20, 2017. Just wanted to see, just for fun, just for kicks. Can I make five dollars a day? Five dollars a day is really not much. It's almost not worth it. Um, but that is one hundred and fifty dollars a month. Um, and how I got there is I just set goals. I stuck this to the inside of my cupboard next to my underwear. <laughs> But the reality is every morning I saw it um, and as something that you chip away day by day and put targets in place, have them on a Google sheet, have them on Excel, whatever format works for you, make sure you see it every day if you're serious about it, if you're serious about an online business, aim for $30, aim for $50, aim for $75, $100, $200 and work your, work your way up and do it in a way that encourages you, do it in a way that you can see when you hit your goal, so you can, um, I have mine on a Google Sheet, so I'll see every time I hit the goal, that bar or row or column will be colored in green. So I know when I, when I hit my targets. Do I provide peace of mind for a potential buyer? So I'm quite willing to spend $75 on a model online, but then... I want peace of mind um, in terms of quality of that visual. What does the quality of that visual look like? Um, do a video talk through, do wireframes, do point form description content. Um, it's very, very important that people can see the specifics of your content that you're selling and you need to, um, you need to be thorough enough in how you sell it uh, for people to have peace of mind. That they, remember, 
someone buying this doesn't know what customer support is like on CG Trader. They don't know what customer support is on Blender Market. They don't know if they spend seventy five dollars. They don't know if they don't like the quality of the product, if they can return it or not. And they most probably don't want the hassle of trying to get a refund for something that they cannot use. So they will only buy it if they find peace of mind by looking at your content. Um, you need to really sell it well. Do I understand that I will need patience and endurance? Now, I've been selling since, uh, I think, March 2016. Um, I made my first ever sale, which was this. Um, I really sold uh, sold this for a dollar thirty, which is ridiculous. Well, I didn't sell it for a dollar thirty. I cleared a dollar thirty, which is ridiculous. I mean, it's just really ridiculous. Um, but it was my first experience of selling something online, and then I uh, went from there. Uh, kind of put two and two together, and I thought I'm going to have to create too many of these at too large a volume. Um, and I don't have the capacity. I'm rather going to move to high ticket items. So I moved from selling 2D to 3D. 3D started doing incredibly well. I had to spend a lot of time on YouTube in terms of digging into sales tactics, how to properly sell something, how online business works, how do you sell in a in a market where where mass scale, mass volume right now is an issue, where potential saturation is an issue, and how do you sell into that. Educate yourself and understand that you will need patience. You will need three, four or five years before it does really, really well. Uh, but I started in 2016. Uh, right now I'm doing 28.5 times better than I'm doing um, in 2016 or have done in 2016. So if this was helpful, if you've got any other questions, I'm happy to handle or, or, or take them. Um, you can take them in a bit of format even. I'm uh, quite happy to interview someone. Uh, quite happy to do a live chat. Let me know. Um, looking forward to hearing from you.